good blessed uh, Saturday, uh, July the 1st, 2023. It's about 12.50 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that I say or do. Anything I produce on social internet, that's your prerogative. You have a First, Fourteenth Amendment, and, and so on to do as you please. What I'm coming here today is to uh, let all of my family, friends, followers, likers, uh, and dislikers know uh, today I went to the post office and picked up a piece of legal mail uh, from the courts. Uh, first, what I want to show y'all is this is a petition uh, that was filed against me on the 15th of, uh, of June of 2023. And when you file in something in the courts, you see what it do? They have it filed, letting it know when it's been filed here in, in the Circuit Court of Mississippi County, Missouri. That's here in Charleston, Missouri. You will see... The chief of police delivered this to me personally. And you will hear him out of his own mouth saying that they emailed it to him on the 16th. And he brought, he called my house on the 16th and asked me was I at home. Asked me was it okay for him to bring it over here and brought this to me. Which it was a court date for June the 28th, 2023. That I had to appear because someone said that they was terrified of me. And uh, that someone had some of the police department, you've seen the chief of police delivered to me personally. You don't see that nowhere in the, in, in the country or probably anywhere else. Uh, but I, what I want to show you something else, I went on the 28th, the person that claimed that, that uh, they was afraid of me, terrified of me, uh, they told their side of the story and I told mine. And that was on the 28th of June, uh, 2023. And if you look at this here, you can, you can see where it's saying filing date, June the, 20, uh, June the 28th, 2023. Uh, and, and the uh, 33rd uh, Judicial Circuit Court of Mississippi County, Missouri, here in Charleston, Missouri. And this is the case number. Now, it was heard on this date. It was filed on it was filed on this date. So the ruling was on this date. The description is adult abuse hearing heard. Hell. Uh the court dismissed it. And when it was dismissed, it's showing you something. The court, the, the, it was dismissed, it, the notice of dismissal, email notice of dismissal to MCSD. That's the Missouri, uh, 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 no, let me see. Yeah, the, no, the Mississippi County Sheriff Department here in the Charles, Missouri. The CDPS, the Charles, Missouri Police Department in the SWFLC. That's the Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center. Mailed, emailed of dismissal to petitioner and respondent, which, me, which was me and the person uh, that filed it against me. Now, the clerk, they said a clerk, I'm assuming this is the clerk, the clerk of the court. You don't see nothing filed. You don't see nothing stamped at all, nor did you see the chief of police uh deliver it to me now here you can see when it was it was it was it was mailed out to me you can see it it has june the 28th 2023 june the 28th is the same day the courthouse uh post office 
uh, city hall, the police station, all that is on the same street. You could you could throw the letter down there with a rock or have somebody just walk down there and put it in the mailbox. But you seen when it was stamped, the chief didn't come bring me this here because uh, the judge didn't rule in the person's favor uh, that he wanted them to rule in. And I'm, I'm not boasting, but I know I didn't do nothing. I know shouldn't nobody in Charleston, Missouri, or any place on this face of this earth should be fearful of me, of their life, because I never threatened anybody. I never stalked anybody. I never been watching anybody. And the person that filed this against me, her father and her family have connection with the sheriff's department. You can hear on this video when her father was trying to force, well, was forcing his way into one of his rental apartments. And when the sheriff deputy, Nicholas Pratt, was there, Nicholas Pratt told him he couldn't do that. And he hollered at the sheriff deputy. He said, this is my property. And the sheriff deputy told him, you, you, you rent to somebody. You can't barge in like you did. And he told the, the sheriff deputy he can call Brent Farrell, which is the sheriff deputy's boss. Brent Farrell is the head sheriff. And also, if you listen to it real good, he did not only told him he can call the, her father, you can, he can call Brent Farrell, but he said, I work for him. Listen to it real good. He said, I work for him. This is a felon. He worked for him. But my thing is, why didn't Robert Hearns, or he said all of his uh, police officers, was on jury duty on the 16th of June when he brought me this. I didn't believe it, and I know the officers don't believe it, but I guess today or on the 28th of June when this ruling was made on the same day, instead of just putting it in the mailbox, he didn't want to bring it to me I, because him and all of his staff clerk and all probably was on jury duty but this is what i want to say is i'm praying for the female that that put this on me i'm praying for her parents i'm even praying for that uh so-called victim advocate that worked for susanna wesley family learning center you can see they coached the female if you was in the courtroom you can see they coached her into putting these lies on here because when the judge was asking her question she couldn't really even answer because it ain't true i ain't never stalked her i never seen her in her life she admitted that never said nothing into her life she admitted that I didn't even know what she looked like until she came on my pay Facebook page a month before she filed this petition against uh, uh, on me. But what I want to just say is, I give all the glory and the praises and the thanks to God for sending a, a, a judge from another jurisdiction, from Cape Garota, Missouri, the 32nd, I think it's the 32nd jurisdiction, down here to the 33rd jurisdiction because if it would have been heard in the 33rd jurisdiction, I'm almost sure, like last time, uh, it would have, it would have been uh, a whole different ruling. But it's sad that you have people that don't like me so much that they can't stamp this here file. But after the holiday is over with, I'm gonna ask them, can I get one stamped and filed? If it's all right, if it's legal for me to ask that, because this is a ruling in my favor. I'm going to leave as I came. I thank God. And I don't want nobody, none of my followers or friends or nobody from Triple R to laugh or boast about this here. All we're going to say is justice was done. I didn't do nothing. A legitimate judge heard it, whether he liked me or not. You see what I'm saying? He, he ruled according to the law. I have a first and a 14th amendment right. You see what I'm saying? I represented myself, but you see who I was going up against. The Mississippi County Sheriff Department, the uh, uh, Charleston, Missouri Police Department, and I ain't talking about all the officers, and I ain't talking about all the deputies, but the, definitely the chief of police, definitely the sheriff, and then Susanna Wesley Family Learning Center, the whole staff in two Susanna Wesley, everybody in Susanna Wesley. Because when you send an advocate to represent somebody that's telling lies, 
y'all ain't standing for what's right. Because me and my two young daughters has been victimized over here right in front of our house multiple times. And not nan time has Susanna Wesley or anybody from the sheriff's department or the police department. You see what I'm saying? Came, uh, are you all right? Besides some of the police and some of the deputies for the uh, 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 sheriff's department and the police department. But I'm going to leave like this here. Me and my two daughters going to continue to depend on God. It's cases that we uh, are filed against people, and it's still, we ain't heard nothing about it. Uh, on, on, uh, on February the uh, 27, I gave the chief of police, Robert Hearns, the same one came over here and brought me that summons. I gave him in the, in the, in the city manager a complaint. One of the officers, I dropped it, but the other one, I didn't. And he said it takes 60 days. It been over 120 days. He still ain't found time to bring me that personally or even mail it to me. That go to show you what type of police department is here in Charles, Missouri. What type of uh, 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 vi victim advocates here in Charles, Missouri. And what type of sheriff department here. Y'all stand up for your rights. Martin Luther King said it well. He said during this struggle... He says some of us gonna lose our jobs. I lost mine before for standing up against a, 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 a multi-million dollar farm that was using uh, the N-word and having KKK sprayed on trash cans. I lost my job standing up against them and I was a supervisor. I lost my freedom for standing up against uh, some of these same people. The two times I was ever arrested, it was in this, in this uh, town falsely arrested and falsely accused was Robert Hearns coming in my house June of 2000 without a warrant him and a white police officer by the name of Beth Acap came in my house he had got an affidavit for a warrant but he never came up to trial and I took a jury trial he never showed up but he falsified that and the other one was this female's uh, daddy who was busting his way into a person's house, committed a burglary and an assault, and they, law enforcement ain't did nothing. Lesser Gillespie. Right down the street here in 2019 in April, right where that stop sign is at, telling children, he don't live over here, telling children that I raped children and I videoed it, and the same judge, Robert Barker, gave him an emergency uh, protection order, but this same judge, Gary Kemp, took it, inherited the case, and threw it out. Second time this same judge had to come down here, the second time this same family trying to say that they're afraid of me. I ain't doing nothing but exposing wrong. I got a right to expose wrong if I want to. That's what certain advocates do. Peace be still. Robert Hearns from uh, Charles, Missouri. Now, now tell me what's going on here. It's a, it's a notice of hearing. Uh huh. June the sixteenth at the courthouse in Charleston at nine o'clock. Okay. And this, that's a, it's like a summons to appear, and then here's the information that was filed on the back, and that's all I know about. It. Okay. This is a. Uh, a, a summons from Judge Camp out of uh, Cape Dorado, Missouri. So, that's, uh, that's the extent of my knowledge, Raymond. I'm just serving the paper. Okay. And I'll go, I'll go notify him that you've been served. And, okay, this is, uh, who is this here? I, I don't know. Okay, they look like that. Is that Daisy Gillespie Hall? Yes, it looks like what it says. Okay, you told me it was a seat hall, right? I said the seat. I don't know. Oh, the Z call. Okay. Okay. So. Gary Camp. You say you don't know nothing about it. Do anybody down in the police department no, have? No, this came from the court. No, no. I was asking you a question. Do anybody down in the police department have any uh, uh, charges pressed against me or came to the police no. department that you know of? Not that, that have anything, but this just came all the way from out of y'all jurisdiction from the 
Court from a, yeah, no, I'm saying it came from out of y'all jurisdiction here in Charleston, Missouri, all the way to Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Well, I think it's the judge. The judge is from Cape Yeah, from Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and we know, you know who this is, this Lesser Gillespie. You okay. know Lesser Gillespie. You know this is his daughter. Well, I okay. do now. Yeah, you you just not know it just I didn't, now? I didn't realize it. Okay, yeah, that's if who it you, is. Uh, I didn't realize it until you saw the Gillespie back here. I didn't read it. Right, right. Uh, but if you if you got any questions, you can call them. No, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got to call okay. them. I just wanted to make sure didn't nobody come down to Charleston, Missouri, uh, police department to any of your police or you and uh, said that they had a reason to get in expo against me. Okay. That's all I want to know. That, if, they, if they do, I'll call you. No, I'm saying, do you know it? No, you, I, don't, I you, don't know You any. called me this, personally. This, this is here. Yeah, this but you, the courthouse. Yeah, you called me personally yeah. for this here. And normally, the chief of police don't call people uh, well, for, 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 for cases. They're like, all at jury trial. Oh, so all of your police. They're, your they're, whole, they're, they're a jury trial. And yeah, I'm, your whole police force is and in I'm, jury I'm trial. And I'm just serving papers. No, I'm saying your whole police department I, is in, ju in well, jury trial. I'm, I'm like you. I can still come out and work a little no, bit. No, I know you yeah. can work. But no, I, they're, I, yeah, I, they, got a jury, saying, they got a jury okay. trial going on. Yeah, for, for your whole police department. Okay. Yeah. Ain't no problem yeah. at all. It just seemed like you smiled. No, no, like it, this came, is something, it came. You know, because you they know what they emailed it this afternoon, and I okay. just picked it up. The reason why I say it because it's strange. Me and my daughters and them been attacked by all type of people. I ain't had you come. I ain't had nobody from the courts, the advocates come to see you. Get everything you need to. Yeah, is there anything I, I, else that you I, I, needed? I'm not leaving my property until we go be together. Is there I anything else? I don't even trust that with you. Is there anything else that you? That, uh, Okay, why don't okay. you trust her with me? Hold on, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. stop. You did. You did. This is my house, stop. huh? And you stop. own the house with your hands. Stop, stop it. Fred, Fred, yeah. okay, go on do what you're going to do. I'm going to do what I'm doing. I'm taking a report. Yeah, and I'm going to call Fred, but I can call Fred. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that to him, because he ain't even done nothing. This no, is what I'm, you're I'm, doing. I'm, you can you get on to everybody. But you can on to everybody. No, you can't even assault. You can on to everybody. Because you can't go into your house if he's rented it. To somebody. Let me tell you what happened, sir. Uh-huh. You barged into the door. No. I seen it. You, I, the, the door was open. Y'all stop. The door was closed. The door was open, but she was standing And she was standing, uh, she and standing right there. And I, and I asked her, we coming in. You pushed it open. You said she was standing Now, sure. we can do this. You can leave or you can go to jail with me. How about that? Sir, listen to me. Now. Okay. What I forgot to show is I wanted y'all to show this here. I believe it's saying my hands is up. Don't shoot. You know, with some of the things that I put up, y'all seen when I put up about the the, the CEO and, and president of the Fresh Start uh, Performance Center in Corp here in Charles, Missouri, Mississippi County, how some of his followers said uh, that he's a gangster and, uh, you know, he's untouchable. But, you know, the only one that's untouchable is God. That's who I work for. My hands is up. I ain't coming in by this. I ain't did. I've been down there 27 years. I ain't got physical with nobody. All I told people, don't come on my property. People done videoed me, uh, 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 the CEO, uh, saying that I raped children, and, and there's nothing to ever show that I ever raped a child in my life. If that was the case, the judges wouldn't have let me raise my two daughters, which is going on 17 and 18 this month. But you know, my, you know, my message is, stop the violence everywhere. But in, in my community, y'all, stop the black on black violence. And peace be still.